Hello, fellow alchemists. Welcome back. With Elixir 1.12 coming out just recently, uh, I did take some time to take a look at it, and there's some very, very interesting things that I didn't even know about. So one thing I did show you guys is Mix Install, which is really, really cool because it allows you to basically uh, run scripts with Elixir, which is pretty neat. Uh, another thing I saw, which is kind of a little bit of a treat, um, and I'm, I'm greatly welcome it, uh, is the idea that you know you can do something called tapping and thanning, right? So let me show you what I'm talking about. So we have uh, just a list over here, and we're doing two maps on it. But let's say in between, we want to actually take a look to see what is actually happening over here. So of course, we can always do io.inspect. And then when I run this script, you will see that we have you know some idea. Uh, you can always use inspect, but if you ever use puts, right? So if you ever use puts over here, it's not quite going to work because you know we can't use this because puts is going to return okay, uh, just the the atom of okay. So we can't like chain in between like we can with with uh, with that. But what we can do is there's this function called tap, and so with tap. What we can do is we're going to get the list in here. We just pass in a function. And then we can finally just do a simple puts. And then we can just inspect the list over here. And then, of course, finally end our function call. And with that, we can get what we want with inspect. But now we can use puts. So we can probably do this with things like, you know, like putting to a file or something like that. You can have this kind of ability. Now, with this thing of tap, right, so tap is actually a macro, and what it's doing is what you could do by default, right? So if I just remove this tap keyword, and I add dot over here, this will allow you to run an anonymous function. So this is basically what it does, is actually calling it this way. It's actually running this, so you can see it's exactly the same, um, except for one more thing, right? With tap, it's not going to return. It's going to return basically this thing over here, so what you're getting is you're getting this, so it's going to actually add that to the end. So this is basically what tap is doing, is it will run the function for you, but still return what you gave it. So that allows you to actually make some changes and do some maybe some side effect or something like that, and continue on going. So that's what tap does, just like another pathway over here. And so you can get the same thing by doing this, or you can just do this, remove the list, and then run tap over here, and you're going to get that out of the box. So you can just return whatever, it's totally fine. Now, the other thing, too, is that if you also want to do something similar, but you actually want it to return something, so kind of like a custom map or something in between, there's a then function, so tap and then. So tap will do like a side effect, but it'll still return the original value that you passed in. Then will actually change. So if we did then instead, you'll see that we do get something broken over here. So in that case, then we'll just give you like similar to what I had before where I removed this, and I just added a dot like this. That's what then is doing. So I highly, highly welcome these tap and then because I've been following the, you know, the the mailing list and people are kind of talking about this, this dot and with the uh, the parentheses at the end, I think is a little bit kind of off putting and not very nice to look at. So I think adding the then keyword and adding the tap are really some niceties to Elixir that I, I really welcome to the to the community. And I think I might actually start using them. Um, they're quite interesting. So anyways, uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, again, this is Alan from Plangora. So I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.